I'm Ford Pearson. They say the only thing that stays the same is change. Today we're going to be looking at the strange and terrifying world of Windows 8. The first thing that you're greeted with when starting Windows 8 is the appropriately named Start Screen, where you can launch a variety of apps by clicking on these large colorful squares. For example, to start the Maps application, you would click on the purple Maps button. This is a Windows 8 application. You'll notice that it fills the entire screen. And what's more, if you want to close out of it, there's no close button up in the corner where you're used to it. So to get back to the Start screen and out of this application, you just have to press the Windows button on your keyboard. You'll notice that the Start screen doesn't have all the applications that your computer has. Uh, some of them are hidden by default. And to get to them, you right-click anywhere on the Start screen, like so, and click the All Apps button down in the bottom right corner. And here you'll see all the rest of the apps installed on your computer. Uh, from here, you can also pin these apps to the Start screen. For example, to pin the Paint app, you would right-click on it, then click Pin to Start down on the bottom left-hand corner. Then, when you get back to the Start screen by pressing the Windows key on your keyboard, you'll see Paint right over here in the uh, upper right side of all the icons. Uh, if you wanted to move that into a different column or rearrange things a little bit, you can just click and drag that icon anywhere you want it to go. As a concession to users terrified by change, Microsoft has included the old-style Windows desktop in Windows 8. It's just hidden behind the Start menu. There's a couple ways to get to it. You can either launch a non-Windows 8 app like Paint here, or you can click on the Desktop button right here. There you go, there's your desktop. When you get to the Windows 8 desktop, you may notice that your beloved Start button, much like your X, is gone and isn't returning your phone calls. So to get back to the Start screen, you can either move the mouse to the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, or you can press the Windows key on your keyboard. And here's the Start screen. Microsoft, in its infinite wisdom, has decided to hide as much information as possible from its delicate users. And one of the things that's hit the cutting floor is an obvious way of getting to your files and folders from the Start screen. So to get to your files and folders, you have to go back to the desktop and then click the Folders icon. This will launch the familiar Windows Explorer. The other way of getting to your files and folders is to go to the Start screen and, even though it's not obvious, just start typing. And you hit Enter, and there's your files and folders. Another thing that Windows 8 makes it slightly more difficult to do is to turn off your computer. And to get to that feature, you have to go through what's called the charm bar, which you get to by moving your mouse into the upper right-hand corner of the screen, and then down. In this case, you click on the Settings button, and then on the Power button. From there, you can either put your computer to sleep, shut it down, or restart it. So. Windows 8, much like the inevitable cold grip of death, is coming, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. But hopefully now, you're a bit more prepared.